the lens, a very important part of the clock, the glass that goes over the face. So uh, what I have here is a list of the different lenses used on the different models of GE Telecron clocks. Uh, this is taken from a website, which is no longer up, so I can't direct you to it. But I took down the information, and uh, this is what I got. And i got to make a disclaimer. This may be incomplete. It may even be inaccurate. Okay, cover uh, The list covers uh, G Telecron clocks made from the 1930s to the 1950s. It doesn't go back into the 1920s or past the 50s. So... This list is organized by shape and size of lens. So it starts off with the round convex lens and then goes up in uh, size. The idea here is that I'm going to put these pages down. And if you're interested in having this information, you can screenshot each one and then print it out. So you have it. Um, one thing to notice is with the GE Telecron, the, the most common sizes that were used were three and three eighths and three and five eighths so um i oftentimes run into uh trying to find the three and three eighths lens on here the asterisk indicates the name for a clock model that was used more than once uh, g telecron recycled names sometimes they use the name you know up to three Three times, I know at least a couple of models used, uh, a couple of different models used the same name. Three different models used the same name. So, uh, the name's there, but also um, it tells you, giving you the asterisk to let you know there was another model of clock with that same name, different, produced at a different time. Um, so, what this is good for is... Um, you know, needing a lens, I get a clock in, it's got a broken lens. And I go and I look for to just buy the lens, say off of eBay. And and I find the lens size I need. And, you know, they're like $20 plus $7 shipping. Okay, that's $27. Um, so what I can do is I can look uh, for some of the more common clocks that are out there that used the same size lens. And then I can use the lenses off of those more common, cheaper clocks in order to finish a project with something that's more rare, less common that I'm working on. Um, what I find with three and three eighths um, is you can sometimes find the uh, timers um, on, on eBay for like $20, $5 shipping or something like that. So it only makes sense to me if somebody wants 20 bucks for a lens and seven dollars shipping that's 27 but 20 dollars for a clock and five dollars shipping that's 25. Uh, in addition the there's one type of timer that also used the same sweep hand as a lot of the clocks so i usually try to look for those cheap get a lens uh, extra sweep hand and then plus all the other hardware in there is, um, can be useful if you get a clock that's missing something